I started to make the film, or like I thought about the film, and it was like how would how would uh, an, an event like this would ha go down in real life, like in in reality. So um, I heard, um, or I, I did a lot of research, and I saw, you know, that you have like this monitor to see outside of the cockpit. So I used, of course, that I we we do it in, in, in black and white as it was. Um, and on the other hand, I always thought it, it is like, you know, when we all hear about a terrorist attack or an attack of, of any kind of um, violence, you first see some images um, that are maybe black and white from a security camera to, um, and you know, you can imagine, you don't even re see the real faces, you just imagine who that is. And I like this kind of um, development over the film that you first see the, you know, in the first um, few shots with the security camera, you just see like this um, this freeze frame um, of someone. It, it, it's like um, a frame from the newspaper article you have in the next morning on the on the title. And over the film, you discover this uh, this young boy um, who he really is. You get to know him. Uh, you get some empathy even for him, and um, this kind of. And I try to use this how we normally see it, and then we get to know more and more and more, and it gets more human, and you see behind just this this image. 